Thanks very much, everybody. Thanks, Thanks for all your support. Thank you. Please So as they made the round, shaking hands, pausing for photos, they were either dodging or diving right into talk of how a minority win would play out. So tonight, we will look at how the three main federal parties dealt with it, starting with Katie Simpson and the Conservatives. Andrew Scheer is gearing up for a new fight that may drag on well past Election Day. The party that wins the most seats should be able to form the government. But it's not necessarily that straightforward. In a minority situation, parties with fewer seats could team up to try to form government. Scheer would know that since he sat as Speaker of the House for four years. Nevertheless, he persisted. A prime minister who enters into an election and comes out of that election with fewer seats than another party resigns. That is a, that is a modern convention in Canadian politics. Here's what Not Liberal leader just Justin Trudeau thing. said to Peter Mansbridge but, about a possible uh, minority situation in 2015. It's the way it's always, always, always been. Whoever uh, commands the most seats gets the first shot at governing. Well, it's not always the way it's been. I mean, they're, that's pretty they're, much always. A, whoever well, gets the most seats gets the first shot at trying to command the confidence of the house. Well, actually, the first shot goes to the outgoing to, to the party. outgoing prime minister. Absolutely. Shear's comments today suggest conservative internal polling has the party poised to win the most Thank seats, but not enough for a majority. All that was his topic of choice today, but he was nearly knocked off message during a grilling on same-sex marriage. I've been with my partner for 25 years. How is our marriage different from yours? Well, look, uh, I've, I've made it very clear that uh, Canada had a debate as a society. We had uh, two elections where this was an issue. We had uh, two votes in the House of Commons. Uh, society's moved on, I've moved on. It's not in my place, it's not my place as a person, as a human being, to judge anybody else. Though the public polling shows a tight race, Sheer and his team behind the scenes appear confident heading into the final weekend of campaigning. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Little Harbour, Nova Scotia. I'm Salima Shivji with the Liberal campaign, where Justin Trudeau is on a two-day Quebec swing to try to stop the Bloc Québécois' momentum. Le Bloc n'a pas le monopole sur la fierté québécoise. The Bloc Québécois doesn't have the monopoly on Quebec pride, he says, a line he repeats stop after stop. Okay. Bloc leader Yves-François Blanchette enjoying his moment, not at all phased or surprised by his newfound support. The Quebec nation has decided to be proud and to demand respect. On va se retrouver avec un gouvernement conservateur. The pitch from Trudeau in the dying days of this campaign leans into fear of conservative cuts if, hypothetically, the conservatives win. But he's steering clear of all other hypothetical questions about what he'd do in a minority situation sticking very much to his script. Uh, given that in a minority situation the Prime Minister has the first right to govern, do you intend to use that right? I am focused on electing a strong, progressive government that will continue the fight against climate change, or do we go back to Stephen Harper's austerity and cuts with the progressive opposition? The choice Canadians are facing is a very, very clear one, and we are entirely focused on that. A classic strategy from a leader trying to stay in power. Talking about working with other parties at this stage negates Justin Trudeau's final plea to frame this election as a contest solely between his progressive liberals and the guy on the right, Andrew Scheer. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Montreal. I'm Hannah Thibodeau with the NDP, which today visited the Blue Star Diner in Welland, Ontario. How's it going, Welland? It's become a favorite campaign stop. Justin Trudeau visited in the 2015 election. Hello, Niagara! Well, Justin had that rock star status. It's a smaller party than the other ones. But NDP's big and well in. Singh was asked about Andrew Shear's claim that if the Conservatives win a minority, the Liberals and NDP better respect that and let him form government. We don't respect Conservatives now. We're going to always fight Conservatives because we don't believe in their cuts to services. That sings message that he'll do whatever he can to stop Andrew Scheer from becoming Prime Minister. And he told voters not to believe that coalition is a dirty word. It's not. <laughs> if you have new Democrats, whether we're in government, which I'd love to be in government, yeah. please let that happen. Whether that's in opposition, whether that's working together with others, 
whether that's in a coalition, whatever it is, I want Canadians to know if you vote New Democrat, you get fighters, you get fighters, you get people on your side. This is Singh's last rally in Ontario before Election Day, and he's expected to spend the remainder of his time in British Columbia, where the NDP are fighting some tough three-way races. Dan and CBC News, Brampton, Ontario.